welcome back, Pace Turners. Here we are with episode number 41 of Long Box Weekly Comic Book Review. I'm your host, Mike, and this is where I talk about the books I love, hate, buy, and leave on the shelf. Right now, we're in the home of Long Box, and that is Comic Explosion right here in Lapeer, Michigan. Right now, we got 40% off most of these back issues, so definitely swing in, take advantage of these deals and specials because I'd love to meet some of you guys. Love it or hate it, advice, baby, maybe leave it on the shelf. Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, maybe leave it on the shelf. Here we are again for the most important part of the show, boys and girls. You guys know what time it is. It is time to support some independent artists. So if you're a writer, letterer, anchor, colorist, whatever you do, if you're working on an independent book, you want to get it out there, get some, you know, some feedback, send it my way. I'll give it an honest review and put it on the show. If you're just an artist, you want to draw me. Draw me as a superhero or a supervillain, something you made up or pre-existing. I'll edit it into the intro and I'll give you some just do props. Thank you guys very much for everything you sent in and I can't wait to see what's coming next. And speaking of independent books, this week we have another copy of Big Hitters coming our way. This is issue number two and I gotta say I'm loving this story, guys. The character design, the lettering, everything in the story, top notch. I could really see this being like a TV show, even a movie. You guys really got something here and I'm really excited to check out issue number three. If you guys would like to check out Big Hitters, I've included a link in the description box below. You guys can check this out, and I can't say that enough. I recommend this book. You guys really, really need to check this one out. Thank you for sending it in. Like I said, I'm eager for issue number three. Next up is Mad Max Road Fury issue number one. If you're a fan of Mad Max, you're going to enjoy this book. If you haven't seen the new movie, this is definitely something that you're going to want to pick up. Check this out. It's going to kind of, you know, build you up, get you ready for this new movie. If you've already seen the movie, this is definitely going to give you some plot points to make you kind of go, oh, I see what they did there. All around, this is a really good read. Um, it was just, I, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't say how this fits in, if it doesn't fit good enough or what, but I enjoyed this. This book, it really made me want to go check out the movie. It, uh, it gave me a, a much more hope for this movie. So if you're looking for something, you know, if you're just kind of on the, you know, the fence, like I'm not sure if I dig this, I'm not sure if I want some new Mad Max or I'll just stick with the old stuff, this is going to be something that's going to give you that fulcrum. You know, kind of make you make a decision whether you want to check it out or just leave it in the past. So this is definitely something I recommend you guys checking out. Even if you don't know what Mad Max is, I think you're really going to enjoy this first issue. I'm looking for issue number two, so I'm going to have to say this is one you don't want to leave on the shelf. Pick this one up, guys. Up next, we have Savior issue number two. Now, I don't know if it's Todd McFarlane on this book, Clayton Crane's artwork, Tom Orzachowski's lettering. It's just all together, this is a great book. If you haven't checked it out, what are you waiting for? Go out, pick you up an issue of Savior number one, if you can find one, and definitely put this one on your poll. This story, it just... It's kind of a hodgepodge of a couple of different stories. You're really not exactly sure what's taking place in the story just yet, but everything so far in these first two issues has definitely, definitely got my attention. I'm probably going to be in this one for the long haul. This is a really good book. The artwork alone, I can't compare it to anything else. If you don't know about Clayton Crane, you're missing out on some serious good artwork. You just definitely need to check out Survivor. Uh, pick up issue number one, issue number two. Put this on your poll. Don't leave this one on the shelf, guys. I'm digging it, and I think you guys will, too. Next up, we have Saga issue number 28. Now, in my opinion, this is a book that just cannot do any wrong. Every single issue, even if it has a low point, just it ends with something that you're like, oh, why did it end? I need to get another issue this month. This is just a book that I, I really recommend it, not just for new readers, somebody looking for something to enjoy. But, man, if you got a girlfriend or a wife that just, when you go to the comic shop, she's like, why do you even come in here? Hand her this book. Pick up the trade, hand it to her, let her read the first few pages. If she doesn't like it, there's something wrong with her and she probably shouldn't be your wife or girlfriend. No, but really, I've sold so many copies of this trade simply just by telling females, check this out. If you don't like the first page, you're not gonna like it. And I'd say 90 to 95% of the girls that pick this up, they really enjoy it and they buy it and they come back to buy the other trades. So if you're not checking out Saga, you don't know what you're missing out on. Uh, I, I tend to explain it as if uh, if Star Wars to be was to be written by Kevin Smith with all the, the dick and fart jokes. It's just a really good book. It's got a little bit of lowbrow humor in it, but it's a really good action-packed uh, book. It's something that I really feel like... Um, it's a closed off universe, it's something that if, you're, if you don't like superheroes, you don't like all that stuff, this is something you're probably going to enjoy, something so far from the norm. Just all around a good book. Like I said, don't leave Saga Issue 28 on the shelf, don't leave the trades on the shelf. If you aren't reading this one, 
you're missing out. Pick this one up. Don't leave it on the shelf, guys. Up next, we have Scott Snyder's Witches issue number six. Now, this is an all-around great story. Uh, really good thriller, horror, macabre. Just It leaves you with that impression where you kind of feel like I might need to leave the lights on just a little bit longer before I go to bed. Uh, it's just a really well-written story. The artwork, it just everything, it's... It provokes me, and that's a good story. If something provokes me, it's something I want to pay attention to. It's the stuff that I just kind of, what happened, what was going on last issue, those are the things you need to leave on the shelf. This, however, this is definitely something I'm going to recommend. Go out, pick up the floppies, but if you can't find the floppy single issues, go out and pick up the trade paperback. You're going to love this story, even if it's something you just want to, you know, dibble-dabble into this new, you know, horror genre. If you're not into it at all, you want something new, check out Witches. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. This is definitely something you don't want to leave on the shelf, guys. Well, that's it for this week, Page Turners. Thank you guys very much for checking out this week's episode. I got to apologize. Sorry for not having a, a, a consecutive episode like I was saying I was going to. I tried really hard to get something going. Just a lot of chaos, confusion, drama, if you will, going on in my life. And life has a funny way of becoming important. So I'm not going to say I'm going to try and get this out every week. I'm just going to do my best to give you guys the best content. Uh, last weekend, I went down to the Motor City Comic Con. Had a blast, man. Three days of just fun-filled, just amazing stuff. I got a, probably around about 200 photos or something like that, or just cosplayers, media guests and stuff. Uh, I got probably, I think, about six interviews with people. Everybody from Dirk Manning, Henri Compton, Able Ideas. Just I didn't focus on any of the media guests because they just were way too busy. Uh, a lot of them had a bad attitude, but uh, essentially I just had a really fun time. I experienced the event, uh, and you know that's really what I want to show you guys is that uh, if you go to these events, if you've never been to a Comic Con, you're missing out on something great. Uh, you're going to have a great time. If you take your friends, your family, they're going to have a great time too. So look forward in uh, the next couple of weeks to see some of those interviews popping up, some of the photos and stuff. So thank you guys very much for all your support. Uh, I know you guys are checking out this awesome shirt here, this long box weekly comic book review shirt. Uh, thing is, is I had a lot of people showing support. There was a lot more people that were aware of long box this show than I thought. Um, that's a good thing. That's really cool. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people, they don't have YouTube accounts or anything like that. So I'd, it doesn't really reflect in my viewers and my subscribers as to how many people are out there watching and supporting. So if you're watching and supporting, thank you guys so very much for all the likes, shares, uh, comments, whatever you guys are doing, co contributions, everything. It makes the show that much more important. You guys are so much very much appreciated. So what I think I'm going to do is if you guys want to show your support for Longbox, I don't want to make any profits off of these, um, but if you guys would like to get one of these shirts just to show your pride and your support for Longbox, um, let me know. You know, in the comments below, let me know if you're wanting one of these shirts, and if I get enough people wanting them, maybe I'll do a, a, a an order. You know, everybody can go get their own shirt. You know, whatever color shirt and logo you want, and maybe I'll do some giveaways. So, thank you guys very much again. Uh, this week, I've got a lot of independent books that are lined up. So, uh, you know. Everybody that's waiting for their review, I apologize. It's been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of months. I apologize for that, but your boy's getting back on the ball here. So next few weeks, we should start seeing a lot more stuff happening from this channel. Again, I apologize for that. Um, I know you guys watch a long box, and I'm here to give it to you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys very much again for watching this week's episode. Thank you for checking out this week's books. The ones I said don't leave on the shelf, go out check them out. The ones that I did say leave on the shelf, I don't think I did this week. But if I did... Don't pay any attention to those. You can trust my opinion. Now, make up your own opinion because it's just my opinion. I'm talking about what I love, hate, buy, and I leave on the shelf. And I'd really like to know what your guys' uh, you know, what your guys' opinions are of these books. So, if you got them, if you read these books, feel free in the comment section below. Definitely leave me leave me some feedback. Let me know if you liked this episode or if uh, if I was gone too long. Feedback. It's all important. So, thank you guys again very much, and I will see you guys again next week. Take it easy, guys. Love it or hate it or buy it, maybe maybe leave it on the shelf. Love it or hate it or buy it, baby, maybe leave it on the shelf.